The current APC crisis that is almost consuming the chairman, Adams Ushomole, seems to have receded. But it is only with regards to the shadow of the main issue that puts Ushomole on the verge of removal that has been partially resolved because the Abuja Court of Appeal will be sitting to hear and give ruling on this shadow of the main issue, still waiting in the FCT High Court for hearing. Though no date has been fixed yet, as it is, as it is now, Oshomole is on the temporary, temporary relief. So on Friday, when the hearing comes up, everyone will know if the Oshomole's temporary relief will be validated by the appeal courts or voided. Interestingly, whichever way it goes, Adam Sushomole is still at the mercy of Godwin Obaseki, the governor of Edo State. This is despite the media propaganda or narrative the Oshomole's camp are trying to push out. As Oshomole has acknowledged recently, he just need to reconcile with his party's men to stay at the party chairman beyond the now. But why and how is Obaseki still holding Oshomole's chairmanship fit in his hands? why Oshomole is at Obaseki's mercy. The reason why Oshomole is at Obaseki's mercy is because it was Obaseki's suspension of Oshomole at the state level that has put his chairmanship in high level of jeopardy. Recall that Obaseki wouldn't have suspended Oshomole if Oshomole had not tried to illegally remove Aslem Ojizwa as the Edo state chairman of the party so he could install his loyalists as the chairman. So, a bit initial, it was Oshomole's override, overdrive that got him into the mess he is currently battling to come out from. Meanwhile, neither the NWC nor the neck of the APC has denied that the suspension of Oshomole was or is not appropriate, meaning Oshomole was legally suspended and it is only a dual state chapter of the APC under Obaseki's leadership that can lift the suspension. So this is why Oshomole is still very much at Obaseki's mercy. No matter what his media people are saying on the social media and mainstream media, a compromise which Oshomole seems now much ready for between both is that is what can save Oshomole. How Oshomole is still at the mercy of Obaseki. Since the appeal courts had asked that the execution of the injunction by the FCT High Court which had restrained Oshomole be stopped pending when the case to vacate it, brought before the appeal court by Oshomole's comes for hearing on Friday. How is Oshomole still at Obaseki's mercy? The harness of this is first, this appeal court is hearing the case on Friday, which might give a ruling in favor of Oshomole or to his disfavor. Now, whichever way it goes, remember the case before the appeal court is to vacate the FCT order that restrained him from acting as chairman and not to invalidate before the FCT high court. Second, the main case challenging Oshomole chairmanship based on the fact that by his suspension at the state level, the, he ceases to be a member of the APC and as such, he can't continue to be the party's chairman. Is still very much alive and the FCT high courts. And the only thing that can void that case is if Obaseki lifts the suspension, but this can only come by genuine compromise and not by the current combative approach of Oshomole's supporters. The beauty of this current occurrence is that Oshomole has been humbled and he now realizes that many across Nigeria are those he has offended and who now wants him out hmm. so guys uh <laughs> it's really it's really an interesting one because the whole thing is just they understand all of this is the whole thing is just too sketchy the whole thing is just not see straightforward as it is a lot of people are writing uh some are writing in favor of uh, obaseki some are writing in favor of a uh, oshomole so the the, the relief that uh, Oshomole has now, you know, from all indications, is just a temporary, uh, temporary uh, uh, relief. So let us see what will happen at the end of the day because I could see now that Oshomole even, it's like he's been apologizing and doing all sorts of, you know, trying to be calm, trying to be, to be more civil, trying to be more, 
you know, try to choose his ways even since that day. Of course, a lot of them were have been dancing and what have you. But the issue of a suspension from his home state, which they are really talking about, that Obaseki has an upper hand, you know, in this whole thing. It's what you see, not say well resolved. And a lot of people will be bringing some interpretations. Mind you, you know that cause they have a the uh, that technicality of uh, doing things. And at the end of the day, let's see what we really happen. Whether the suspension at his hometown or at his state, home state, we 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 supersede that of a uh, his own chairmanship at the center. Because <laughs> well, majority of us don't even know how all of these things how they work. But at the end of the day, let's see what comes out of the whole thing and we know who is who at the end of the day because that is what they are they have made people to you know to be seeing the whole thing they have made people to believe they just want people to see oh i'm the one that is more powerful you are the one that is not powerful because a lot of people are really taking sides some are lawyer to this some are lawyer to that and someone says did you know the supreme court ruling on similar issue previously that what cannot remove or suspend national officers that duly elects or appoints we are you hearing different things some people will tell you no that is not the issue someone say tell him stop the lies even a novice in politics knows that the that only the neck has power to suspend a national chairman we know as a fact that the abuja high court injunction that purportedly suspended ushumole was a cash and carry ruling by a shameless judge hmm. someone say a pity or Baseki gone too soon in APC and a do governor office. Sorry, dude. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Someone say that's a good one. Cause in this matter is a waste of time. Nothing they happen. Oshomole has come to stay. Uh, the substance of the case is very clear. Unless the judiciary will see act on a usual corrupt manner to obtain justice, Oshomole never contend his suspension. He only seek order to vacate it. The person that writes this pointless post is in is a novice to APC Act or Constitution. You will not make even you will not even make even you forget to tell us National Working Committee. Hey suspended Obaseki and his deputy. If the writer knew what he's writing, he should have uh, told us what will happen to Obaseki if his suspension is not lifted. Um, this one they are quoting what they know and someone says hmm, uh, more fire let us continue they are liars don't mislead the reading public Oshomole said he reconciled himself with his electives and never mentioned Obaseki uh, someone says here that say, I beg make una go sleep Joe Oshomole was just being careless at first stage but now he realizes his carelessness he won't take a chance anymore it is sure he is going to bury his his moles and the corona in the party uh, someone says thanks for the clarification how uh this writer is not current with the judiciary past pronouncement concerning the issue brought before the api court except mr paid writer is telling nigerians that api court is in obaseki's pockets and someone says don't mind them let them continue you know of course what can be trusted in this country? Everything is just in the sari. We don't even know what is the right thing, what is not the right thing. Because even at that higher level, things are not being done properly. But at the end of the day, like I always tell people, if you are always supporting all these people, the question is that what have they done in return for you as a person? All about, oh, I support this one. This one is the most powerful person. This one is the reigning person. This one is down... Is now is now having upper hand. That is what we are always concerned about. If you still talk about the uh developments that are supposed to occur, some people will see commas and be making excuses why it should not be so. <laughs> it's a pity. The majority of the problem we are having in this country, you know, is as a result of the masses themselves because they are not helping matter. Some people will be going in one direction. Other people will be going in another direction. We don't even know what we want, even as a people. That is what they have already said. So that you will not have a direction. You, you will be supporting this, supporting this. And your own life is not even being considered by these so-called people that you are supporting. They don't consider you. They don't consider your interest. 
anytime they want to use you, they will use you. They bring all manner of sentiments. And be, before you know, people start falling in for it. Let us see what will happen at the end of the day. If uh, Oshomole say uh, whatever is temporary, we know who is right, who is not right. But the unfortunate thing there is that a lot of things has been a lot of things have been turned down. We don't even know what to believe. Even the right thing you see, they will change it for you. So guys, I let us hear your opinion. Just like the writer said that Oshomole is still at the mercy of Obaseki. Do you really agree to that? Leave your comments below and let's have your take.